Morning guys, I'm so sleepy today. We stayed up far too late. Trevor might be in holiday mode, but I do actually have work to go to. We had some nice porridge for breakfast, but we're thinking a second breakfast. So we're going to the um, Wenlock Edge farm shop. I guess it's gonna be like an early lunch really, um, because that's all like local meats and stuff, but apparently they also do um, sausage rolls and like sausage in a bun <laughs> and um, bacon baps and that type of thing to take away. So we're gonna check that out before I head to work. So this is Wenlock Farm Shop and it's all come from just down the road at Wenlock. Oh, this looks so good, I'm so ready for this. I'm taking some compost home from the allotment, so I've got it in my little trolley. Trevor's making a loaf. So we were gonna be having chicken wraps for tea tonight, but we ended up buying faggots from the Wenlock Edge farm shop, and they're really fresh, so we thought we would have those. And a couple of other bits we also bought, bearing in mind we only went in for the sausages, we bought this salami, which looks really, really nice. And these pork sausages, which have got bits of black pudding in them. Because while we were waiting for our sausage um, baps to cook, we they actually had some samples on the counter and it was those sausages with the black pudding in them and they were really nice. So we ended up buying those as well and there was so much more stuff in there that I would like to go back and buy. And um, They had big um, chicken packs and she said that they could order in any joints of meat that you you wanted because the farm is just down the road, that's just the, the place where they, they sell it. So I'm hoping to get a lot more of my meat from there because it's really good meat. Those sausages were amazing. So these are the meatballs, it's very steamy. We're having it with sweet potato and broccoli and then an onion gravy which has also got cabbage in it. Yesterday when I was at my mum's she gave me these chilies which she's grown and they all need to be um, strung up. They're already dried out because she's got a Rayburn at her house so it's much easier for her to dry the stuff there but usually we string them onto a big long string and then use them throughout the year. I'm pretty sure, are these the Scotch bonnet ones? Yeah. Yeah, they're, um, they're Scotch bonnets those ones are. Uh, last year we um, dried chilies and powdered them up so we've got them in like a little jar already which we use to add to dishes so I don't know if we'll I don't think we'll do the same with these, but I can't imagine a recipe where I would use a full scotch bonnet. I'm not sure. You could probably just like dip them into something and stir it around and then it would be really spicy. I hope I haven't got any oil on my hands now because nothing burns more than when you get like a little bit of chilli under your nails. Eww. I don't really like spicy foods that much, but Trevor, Trevor does so. Got lots of chilies here and our chilies didn't do very well last year, which was kind of disappointing, but fingers crossed for this year. I've been really excited to get some seeds in, but it's just um, still too cold really, and the greenhouse needs to be glazed. <laughs> um, I think that's everything for today, guys, so I'm going to say goodnight. Oh, we do need a secret word. Um, panda? <laughs> I don't know what made me think of panda. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll go for panda. You can work that into your comments. Once again, I am really full. Those faggots, actually, we probably could have done with just one each. They tasted really good. I think they had quite a lot of liver in them. They tasted quite strong of, like, liver, that kind of iron taste. But, um, yeah, they, they were good. Definitely get those again. But next time, I think I'll split a pack and put half in the freezer. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.